Hey everybody, welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. Today we're gonna to take a look at the new August Wi-Fi Smart Lock. Here's the previous generation. I loved it, it was great, it's big. The new one's so much better. Let's take a look. Installation is pretty straightforward. You're going to pretty much just remove your existing knob. You're going to install a new plate uh, with the two screws that were already there. You're going to find a compatible, um, uh, these little widgets here that basically will fit the knob that you had before. So you're basically going to take the new Wi-Fi smart lock, put it in place over that new connection, and simply lock down the tabs to keep it in place. And if you've done everything correctly, you basically have a new manual control as well as a smart home control for your existing deadbolt locks. And again, maintaining the same key that you always used, even though they do sell a numeric keypad for it if you want to make it completely keyless on the outside, but I don't bother with that because I can control it from my uh, iPhone and from my Apple Watch as well, including uh, the ability to have it detect when I'm near my home or coming back home and automatically unlock. One of the things I love about the new lock is that it's smaller. It's just easier to manipulate with your hand. So just having it smaller for smaller hands is just great. Again, smooth operation for unlocking and locking. And just for, so you can see a size comparison, here's the previous generation that I removed. It is significantly bigger and um, taller as well. So it sticks out more from the door. The new one is so much smaller and also the new one has Wi-Fi built in. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for that matter. Whereas the previous generation only had Bluetooth and relied on a separate uh, Wi-Fi connector to connect it to your smart home platforms. So this one's all encompassing, including the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. Works great, I love it. What attracted me to the August Wi-Fi lock was it only replaces the part inside, basically the knob of your deadbolt. So the other side remains intact, remains the same. If you like using your keys, your keys still work. You don't have to do anything on the outside of the door. You're only replacing the knob. And of course, um, even though it's a smart lock and you can use it with HomeKit and, and, um, and Google, you don't have to do any of that. You can just use your hand lock it or unlock it as needed. And of course that's important in case of emergencies where you just need to get out or you need to let someone in. You don't ever have to worry about having the key or having uh, your phone or, or using a voice command. But I do love the fact that it is HomeKit enabled and therefore I can make it part of my scenes and automations. Uh, for example, at night when I say go upstairs, it automatically locks the doors and confirms that they're locked. Lock the entry door. One of the things I love about the Wi-Fi smart lock from August is also this little sensor that comes with it. What this sensor is for is once you configure it, it basically lets you know uh, if your door is not closed all the way because what good is locking a door if the door is actually still open? So even if it's just ajar a little bit, it will register in the app that the door is not completely closed and therefore it will warn you that you're trying to lock a door that's not closed all the way. Once you close the door, then you can lock it and then you'll see that it's actually locked. Installation was pretty straightforward and I would even consider it to be easy. I was able to do it for both my front door and back doors. Um, I love the new form factor. I love the fact that it's just that much smaller. And more importantly, I love that I don't need the separate wireless connect for the Wi-Fi slash um, home kit and away from home installation. It's all built into the lock. So I highly recommend if you just want an easy way to add smart locks to your house, your existing doors, your existing locks, you don't have to replace the front. Um, you can just go ahead and get the August Wi-Fi smart lock, install it yourself or have a professional do it if you feel like it's a little bit over your head. And once you set it up, you'll just never go back. Like I just love being able to walk up to my door, tap a button on my watch or my phone, have the door unlocked or have it automatically locked based on my proximity to my house. 
and automatically lock if I leave the area. So those are some of the key features of the August Wi-Fi uh, smart lock. Uh, new generation, smaller, better, faster, more integrated, and it's just great. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.